Uh, hello, this is a short video according to B Engine for Unity version 1.0. Uh, finally, uh, the update has been arrived and I'm very happy about this. So uh, I would like to show you some new uh, new things which appeared in the new version. So uh, firstly, now we have three buttons instead of two buttons. Uh, so update nodes button was renamed to update inputs. So because <laughs> logically it just uh, updates inputs. So now we have run server button here. We can run server from the menu or we can run server directly uh, from the B engine component. So let's run the server. Okay, uh, Blender has been started. Uh, all right, uh, another one feature is that we can we can generate multiple B engine components at once. For example, I have two uh, two B engine components here. Uh, if I select uh, all of them and press Run Nodes. Then uh, all components will generate geometry and instances. So that's really cool. <laughs> For example, if you have 20, 40 B engine components, you can select all of them, press run nodes, and no problem. Everything will be regenerated. Uh, another one update. It's very good. It's, I'm oh, sorry. It's related to Blender. Uh, so Blender server now is running on a on a different thread. So uh, we can use uh, Blender. We can model. We can open Blender files. We can save Blender files, and uh, the Blender server uh, still uh, be working. So for example, uh, let's press new scene. For example, create a box. Uh, Let's save it, for example, to desktop untitled. So before, before this update, uh, the Blender server would crash, but now everything is working uh, pretty pretty fine. Uh, so let's try to regenerate something again. So I'm pressing Run Nodes. Everything was regenerated and the Blender server is running, is still running, so that's really good. If you need to to see the log, oh sorry, I guess this is the log of the Blender server, so this means that everything went fine. So this is update of the B engine for Unity 1.0, I'm very happy that it's happened. Thank you.